everyone, it's Eric and Roy with another Hatchet Cash Shop Talk episode, and today we're going to be talking about the Trigicon Credo 2-10 to 10 by, what is it? By 36. That's why I said 36. By 36. Anyways, it's an optic. Trigicon and we're gonna talk Credo. <laughs> the Trigicon Credo. All right, we're going to hand it over to Roy for the plugins <laughs> right now. <laughs> Just <laughs> take it away. Thing, yeah, exactly. Uh, first thing, guys, if you en- are enjoying our content and you like what we're putting out, and you want to be the first to know what's going on, hit that like, subscribe, and that little notification bell down there. Yes. Okay? Actually, if you actually get something out of this and you think that you have a friend that would actually enjoy the episode or enjoy the channel, share it. That really helps us out. Yeah, on both ends. Yeah. Uh, here on YouTube and also on IG, Instagram. Yep. If you if you have a friend that would think that uh, we'd get some actual information out of what we're talking about, go yeah. ahead and share it with them. Yeah. Share the information. Share it away. <laughs> just, just share it. Uh, all right. So some supporters, guys. Um, if you if you like some of the gear that we're talking about, some of the optics and stuff, uh, you can always head over to gunandammoshop.com and pick that stuff up. Use the discount code HatchetCast, and you'll save a little bit of money there. Okay, Saving money is always cool. Uh, you can also head over to wisemancompany.com and pick up some of the slings that we run, pick up the Hot Pockets, things like that. Um, Lunar Concepts makes a, a lot of that stuff for Ben and those guys over there at Wiseman. They've been fantastic supporters of us. They help us out with a lot of stuff. A lot. I mean, they, they've been oh, yeah. massive supporters for yeah. us. So head over to both of their Instagram pages, head over to Wiseman Company YouTube channel. Uh, ben puts out some great content also at the yep. same time. Yep. Um, if you want to train with us, we say it all the time. Where do we train, Eric? JTAC Ranch. JTAC Ranch. Mm. JTAC Ranch is in Central Florida area. So if you want to come out and train with us, Check out the website, jtechranch.com. If you want to move to the Florida area so you can train with us on a regularly basis. Regularly basis. Yep. Regularly Uh, basis. Regularly basis. (laughs) Making up words here. (laughs) If you want to to train with us um, and you want to move to Florida, Tampa One Mortgage. Mm. Yep. Go check those guys out. Okay, they yep. can definitely help you. Uh, I, I do believe they're in the Tennessee area, right? So they cover all of Florida. They also cover Tennessee. Yeah. Um, yep. So if you're looking to move into get away from California, if you're trying to be a free man. If you're trying to be Florida a free man, man, and you want to buy a house, yeah. in a free in a free state, especially from a company that actually supports the Second Amendment. Yeah, head over, see those guys. Yeah, they'll help you out. Tampa One Mortgage, and then yeah, Tampa One Mortgage. Last but not least, man. Uh, you guys have been great supporting us so far over on the website. Barrel and Hatchet. Barrel and Hatchet.com. Pick up some hats. Pick up some t-shirts that we got rolling down the pipeline. Yep. Uh, we got patches. We got stickers. We got a lot of cool stuff that are coming yep. out. A lot of a lot of fun stuff that's coming. A lot of other secret future. stuff coming out that would be coming out soon. Top secret. Yeah. Top secret. CIA stuff. G14 class. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trigicon Credo. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So, what in the title... Well, in the title, <laughs> this thing is the optic that you probably haven't heard of. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about Trigicon Credo. I will say, when and we have posted, we've done a lot of posts over the past few weeks, and we've got a lot of content or comments back. Yeah, a lot of a engagement. mixed bag, too. Man, people it is like, a mixed bag. There's some people that are sucks. like, that's stupid. It yeah, sucks. It's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. Which is, hey. Yeah, that's that, that's, what, the honest, com- that's what the comment yeah. section is for. Absolutely. Carry it on. Maybe you had a bad experience with something. Yeah. Hey, carry that conversation on. Uh, obviously, we're not here to bash companies. That's no. not what we do. No. We're just give, here to give you our honest opinion. Yeah. Okay? Um, and we're not going to bash anybody. We're surely not going to bash Trigicom. Tr- no. At the end of the day, we haven't had any issues with this optic. No. Just going to come out and say it. Yeah. Okay? In fact, no it's issues. probably going to be a very positive review. Yeah, very positive review. Um, I'm going to run down a couple of respects. Uh, <laughs> guys, I have this. Uh, Take it away, specs Roy. here in front of me. And every time I'm on a website and I'm reading a company's specs, <sighs> so one of the things here, so so like Trigicon Credo, front focal plane, Emrad tactical scope. Tactical. <laughs> The most tactical. I always read so them out tactical. before we start the videos in my head like that. <laughs> We're just laughing. Before this um, so a couple of specs on it uh, as a quick overview. Um, 30 millimeter tube. Uh, you have capped turrets on the windage adjustment. Which is actually nice. Yeah. yeah. Which is very nice. Yeah. Um, on our elevation adjustment, we're both of our, me and Eric are both running the MRAD edition, so yeah. both of them are in mills. Yeah. Uh, you have a Christmas tree style reticle for you guys that are familiar with that, yeah. um, which gives you that ability for wind holds, yep. things like that. Okay, yep. It breaks it down in mills also, so it is a mill-mill yeah. scope, which is good. So your reticle is matching your turrets. Yep. So if you decide to dial or you decide to hold, everything's the same 
back and forth. Uh, glass is really, really clear in this. It is clear. I, I, actually, I read some comments that the, you know, zooming into 10, it wasn't that clear. Yeah. We've been hitting out to a thousand yards and, and, and seeing then, it perfectly fine. We've actually been spotting trace for each other. Yeah, and we get we get glass. a lot of mirage here yeah, at the ranch. A lot of mirage. Yeah, we get a lot of mirage at the ranch, which kind of cuts up. So as far as clarity wise goes, I I feel like it's been great. About as clarity as you can get. Um, you got uh, you got a magnification um, adjustment lever on it that they that they ship with it, which is kind of cool. I like that when companies do it. Yeah. Uh, this one's not too big, so it doesn't get hung up and snagged on things. No. So I do like that. Um, it. Around about 30, or tw- not 30 ounces. What am I talking about? 23 oh, ounces. 23 Tw- ounces. 23 ounces. Only 23 ounces. Only 23 ounces. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty light. Yeah. Uh, it does have 10 illumination adjustments. Yeah. Um, everyone always asks the number one question, is it? Daylight bright. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Okay. Um, Eric, how many times have you wanted to turn it on for daylight mm-hmm. brightness? I would say have you turned yours never. On? Never. Never. I don't think I've ever turned mine. I don't even think I've put a battery in mine yet. <laughs> <laughs> we put a battery in yours yeah. to test the daylight brightness. Yeah, and I would just. Yeah. And after that, we'd never. Use yeah, it I don't. I don't think I put a battery in mine because it just. I. Low we light. We never do it for any of our scopes. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, uh, low light. Maybe you know, um, may come in to help you identify the, the reticle a little yeah, more. Maybe, yeah. Um, which once we go back to low light, it's definitely plenty low light yeah bright yeah okay so absolutely. it does have 10 light or 10 adjustments for the uh, brightness setting um i would just say it's a capability that roy and i have not used yet yeah correct right. um we haven't really found the need to use it correct but if you are using it it is a common battery it's a cr 2032 yeah so um as far as battery life i couldn't tell you um that's not something that i know uh, i don't know if they have it up on our website but i go check out trigicon uh, oh they do actually i just read it here 68 oh. hours Dang, dude. Look at that. Dragon. I got you. And if you need to get a replacement 2032, you can probably get it big Lou Wiggly. Johnny on the spot with, with, with some specs here. But mad specs. <laughs> um, point 10 or point 0.1 MRAD adjustment. So um, so 10 clicks equals 1 Yeah. mil uh, as far as adjustments. Gives you a total range of adjustments in mils of 26.2 is what they advertise on their website. Yeah. Uh, three... 3.4 to 3.9 as far as eye relief mm-hmm. is what they say. Eye relief has been decent. I haven't had an issue with eye relief. No, right. no, yeah. no issue. Uh, we did have a couple of guys shoot it. Um, a couple of guys have said that they kind of struggled with it, yeah. eye relief. But I think that was more that my rifle is set up for me Yeah. and your rifle is set up for you. The other thing also I noticed is maybe butt stock length of pull was not set Once again, the, when we're talking yeah. about setting up, um, yeah. some of the guys that struggled with mine, I'm running a on my Mark 12, which is the the Trichicon Concreto sitting on top of I am running a SOP mod adjustable stock yeah. six position adjustable I don't adjustable. think anybody really had any issues with the fixed stock that I No had on. no one had any issues with the fixed stock yeah. so um, for me it fits me fine I haven't really struggled right. with any kind of issues with with the eye relief a couple of the guys did but I think I had to do with more of the way my rifle is yeah, set up I don't think I had anything to do with the optic it is a nice matte black finish. It does not have a lot of glare on it. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we've done to yours, Eric, is you wrapped it in what? So I actually took, uh, well, that was a loud smack with my lips. Uh, I actually took burlap and twine, or as Q from Ghost 5 Tactical would say it, what do you call it? Jute? Jute. Yeah. Jute. It's yeah, a wrapped fun it in word jute. to say. Uh, so I wrapped mine in, with burlap and tied it with jute kind of camouflage it up a little bit i'm not sure if i said it but it is a front focal plane so yeah, yeah. if i'm repeating myself i apologize yeah so uh but it is a front focal plane which is kind of nice yeah um eric you ran that you've ran it actually at some closer range targets on the two magnification what on the two side what is is it you feel like it's a true two or did it feel like it was like no it felt like a true two i mean yeah. like and, and as far as like bringing the rifle up quick and in a hurry i was able to get a clear picture i didn't really have any blackout on the sides mm-hmm. or anything like that um, eye relief was good. Uh, did not have any issues there, and I had a clear picture and a clear Christmas tree whenever I pulled that sucker up. Um, so yeah, no issues on no two. issues. Yeah, no issues. Um, on two. I, I haven't either. Uh, yeah. I haven't ran mine at uh, closer range engagements as much as you have. I've, I've done most of my work with mine like 200 and beyond. Yeah. Um, you you kind of experimented around a little bit more yeah. with yours than I have. Yeah. Uh, so I've done a lot of shooting off of structures um, and you know prone shooting yeah. with mine and really stretching it out. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about that glass clarity going back, 
what you said it a minute ago, we've gotten hits out to a thousand yards. A um, thousand yards, and we were able to spot trace. So yeah. kind of a little bit of a backstory. Roy and I both got the Church of Concreto, put it on our Mark 12s, which we'll get into what we think is the best role for this optic and where it really gets, um, really fulfills its you know, potential the best. Yeah. Um, but we both got Trigic on Credo so that we could, you know, give each other corrections and stuff like that when we're talking mills and turrets and dials and whatever. Uh, we're speaking the same English. Yep. So um, that's why we both did that. But Yeah. And um, one of the things that we've seen a lot down in the comments uh, when we posted, posted some of these questions on Instagram, on our personal pages and on Barrel and Hatchet, was it doesn't have parallax adjustment yeah on a side parallax yeah which me being uh someone that does a little bit more precision shooting sure i do find value in parallax and yeah. parallax mm -hmm. adjustment uh do i think that this scope should have a parallax adjustment on it yes 100 percent. i really do think that it should have a parallax on it right. because if you really don't need to use it you can always just roll it up to infinite parallax yeah. and it's there and it's there it. you know so if you don't need parallax adjustment if you're not the type of person that's adjusting it all the time you right. can you can leave it and set it um so i i really don't think for the that it sh that it was something that they should have left out um uh, for a cost saving or anything like that uh, especially being that the cost of it or what it is i mean yeah. it's a you know it's a 900 plus scope a thousand dollar scope roughly yeah. uh, so i do think that it should have parallax adjustment when we talk about its fulfillment and its role though of what we have chose to use it for i don't find that parallax adjustment is necessarily a true thing that you have to worry about a lot yeah um when which, you're talking about the role of the rifle yeah. that you're setting it up for which that role is spr which stands for special purpose rifle yep. so like a 556 five, with a heavy barrel uh, meant for more 500, 600 yard engagements and in. Yep. Um, very precise precision shots, yep. accurizing uh, that cartridge, or as well as like maybe a DMR, maybe yep. like a 308 gas gun, something like that. Yeah, I would definitely run it on a DMR. Yeah. And so that's where I, we feel like this thing really fills in that role is, uh, I mean, it's, it's like almost like it's not an LPVO, but it's also not a full blown scope. Um, so it kind of fits in that in-between role, you know, same type of thing. An SPR, DMR, it's in between a battle rifle or general purpose rifle and a sniper rifle, yep. right, or a bolt gun. Exactly. So it kind of fills that gap. You want you want what we have you have chose to use it for and where it has worked for us. So when we're giving this, this, this talk up here, understand that our opinions are coming from the role that we've placed it yes. in. Yes. The yeah. tool that we have chose to use it on. Yeah. Okay, um, the tool that we have chose to use it on are, are SPRs, Mark 12 slash DMR, whatever you want to call them, yeah. rifles. And I feel like a two to ten is a very sweet spot for yeah. that role. Yeah. I have a very wide window as far as field of view yeah. on my two. Yeah. And even on a ten, if I'm zoomed all the way in on ten, engaging stuff at six, seven hundred yards, or a thousand, or even a thousand yards, yeah. still gives me a relatively very wide field of view, yeah. versus something like a three to fifteen or three to we, eighteen. Well, well, I mean, you and I have both run four to sixteens on these things oh, yeah. on the Mark Twelve, yeah, exactly. And it was just like when we were running those things, we were dialed all the way down. We we're like, man, I wish I could dial down just a little bit more. Correct. Right? Maybe down to a two. So, I mean, the role of like a Mark 12 or SPR DMR rifle is to engage targets accurately. And quickly. And quickly. Yeah. Um, is what its role is. Are you really dialing para are you are you adjusting your parallax at the same time that you're, you know, um, if, I, if I'm telling you to engage 200 400 and 575 yeah three targets back to back to back relatively very quickly giving you a very short period of time i'm not messing with parallax you're not messing with parallax no yeah. I'm, I'm doing fast engagements i'm doing and we've done this we re go we'll walk ourselves out hey two three four five hundred yards yep um we've done shots at yep. 500 yards where we shoot as many rounds as we can and we, before the first round hits, or the report of the first round hits, we're already shooting the second round. Shooting so the you second can round. Hear. We've done. Uh, you you like to do it with the pistol. Sometimes we do it with the pistol. The, uh, the what's the game you play? Um, like chase the cat or chase the oh, mouse. Oh, chase the rabbit. Yeah. yeah, chase the rabbit. Yeah. Um, 
we've done that exact same thing with a Mark 12. Yeah. You know, where we call a shot and we're, you know, we're right back to it. And it's yeah. like, okay, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the number two guy and Eric's shooting and he's getting a hit. I'm, I'm seeing his trace, seeing that he's going to get impacts. And then I'm immediately following up with a shot right yeah, behind which, it. Which, by the way, our target we're playing Chase the Rabbit with is a four inch target at 500 yards. Yep. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, our systems, our rifles are very capable of it. Um, seeing that small target, that four to five inch target at 500 yards, yeah. is is I feel like the glass is plenty clear enough yeah, to do. And and the the reticle itself, it has that dot in the center. It's very it's clean, super clean, and it's super fast. It's like, not it has, overly complicated no, either. It's not. It has just enough to be able yeah. to make quick wind holds. Yep. Do holds for elevation for quick target acquisition, and be able to go from one target to the next very fast. Yep. Um, and, and we do this all the time where we'll communicate, you know, side by side, running both Mark 12s and we'll go walk ourselves out two, three, four, five hundred 500 yards, walk ourselves back in, jump to 200 yards yep. and, and prosecute those targets very quick and very effectively. Training with the rifle and practicing with the rifle as far as what it was designed for. Yeah. And that's what I feel that this, opti this optic, optic fit. really fits. In um, if you're, if you're using this optic for, you know, if you're buying one of their other versions of it that are higher magnification, yeah, with intentions of using it maybe as a precision rifle optic, I probably necessarily wouldn't suggest it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I say precision rifle, I'm talking maybe like a bolt, bolt gun, gun that yeah. you're that you're that you're trying to do fine work with. Mm -hmm. You're trying to yeah. you're trying to sew wouldn't sew with. the two to ten. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for a two to ten. I gotta say I've been very happy with it, and I'm not saying I've been very happy with it because I have money invested in it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At the end of the day. Yeah. Um. You know I do have a shop, so I have the ability to sell anything that I buy. Yeah. So if I turn around and buy it and I don't like it, guess he, what I do? Roy does not keep anything he does not like. Correct. It immediately hits Goes, the shelf. Yeah. It's it shelf. hits the shelf and, and moves on to somebody else. And that's personal preference. Not and that's due personal to, preference. Not due to yeah, being not bad due, not due to quality or yeah. anything like that. It just has to go with. And I'll give my opinion. I get people that come in i mean I, heck i i bought the they're one to eight yeah and then this we're not trying to get into you know talking about other scopes but i for the one to eight it didn't work for me yeah just i didn't like it you. yeah I, it, it wasn't me so i sold it um and you know and i give my opinion on it and obviously still people want to they, they maybe they want to give it a try yeah. um but for us that that um uh, this two to ten has been great it yeah. really has it, it fits the role as far as what we have chose to use it for yeah. and if you're and trying, i can't stress the fact of that yeah. at all and if you're trying to find that spr look or even have that spr type of yeah, capability that's the, that's the, it, the look it, 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 what would real quick before i forget about this it if you do decide to dial which we we do sometimes if we're going to like a thousand yards and we need to yeah dial if we're a going bit, to a thousand yards so we'll, we can, dial, yeah, we'll dial but it does have a zero stop Yes. which is nice yep. and also you can tell that they put a little bit of thought in this because they do not have a scope cap on the elevation they do for the windage yep so um, obviously, uh, they have that zero stop in there. It, if you it do doesn't dial. lock, so I know that was one of the turnoffs. Right. A couple of people said yeah. is it doesn't lock. But how often, um, you, if you're going to do SPR quick engagement, are you going to be dialing those? Or are you doing no, I'm I'm holding it at zero, Personal. so I can argue that back and say, hey, well, what if I bump it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I would say actually, the turret it is not easy to turn in terms of like you can't just bump that sucker. It's solid, right? It's, pretty it's solid. got some pretty solid yeah. clicks to it. So like it's intentional. Uh, if you Man, I I check my stuff. You know, I look at my stuff. One of the things for me every time that I get behind a something that I'm doing more precision work with that has yeah. a turret that I can look up directly in front of me yep. and see what what it's dialed at. Yeah. And the very first thing that I do every single time is I give myself a click glance up. And if it's not sitting at zero, guess what I do? You're I roll it back to yeah, zero. Roll it back. And this one happens to stop at zero, so that yeah. makes life really easy on me. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 argument there is saying, oh, it you know it doesn't lock. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't lock. Um, but but you can just roll right back. And well, how do you know to do that? Training. training 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 yep yes it's something that i've just get behind i just gun. do every single just time train. i get behind it and i train with it yeah so. yeah overall church of concrete 2 to 10 yeah i mean i give it two thumbs up i don't think you're uh could it be for what it is do i feel like you could probably come in at a little lower dollar value well i mean think about this though yeah what's 
if you're looking at a Vortex Viper, or not Viper, but a Razor Gen 2, mm -hmm. and that's an LPVO 1 to 6 or 1 to 8, they have a 1 to 10, you're yep. going to be spending over they're, they're a big money. You're yep. going to be spending some money. I mean, I think you can pick up a Viper PST Gen 2. Yeah. Um, they got that, uh, they got the 2 to 10, I yep. think, in that, uh, yep. which that's a great scope, too. I yep. would highly suggest that one. Uh, it comes in at a pretty competitive price point, yeah. and it gives you some pretty solid features, too. Uh, and there are a couple other ones that are out there on the market that yeah. give you some solid features. Yeah. Uh, um, personal opinion is um i think it could probably come in at a lower lower price range yeah. um but i mean it doesn't you yeah. know um it but it's been solid yeah it's been beat around it's it been dropped been it's been hit on and i think something else to help with the optic being so solid and it being so sturdy is pairing it with a good mount like you're yep. running an arms mount i'm running an american defense manufacturing mount yep. you know and i I mean, I cannot Speaking stress of American, how important a solid mount is. Like, yep. ammo is getting expensive, and if that thing's coming loose, you're spending more money, and it's so frustrating. Speaking of American defense, this is one of the things that we both have wanted to yeah. do is to run some dots with our SPRs. Yeah. And they got yeah. their... Is it is it new? Is it something that is released? I'm not you know? sure, but they do have a... Uh, they have a mount a now. Mount they have a mount, mount now, mount right, that yeah. you can run a dot on top, mm -hmm. which, yeah. you know, that that is really cool. In American Defense Manufacturing, that is... It is combat proven. It's used by DOD. It's used by all these different agencies. It's used by yep. regular folks. You and I, we run them hard. Yep. And run a good mount. Yeah, run a good mount. It but is yeah, so important. it's it's been it's been proven. We bumped it around. We've dropped it, not intentionally. We literally dropped the turret. Literally on the turret, like <laughs> right on top of the turret. It was not done on purpose. <laughs> it fell. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it fell. It fell, fell hard. Off a tripod. Yeah. Uh, fell off of a tripod. Fell right on top of a. If you guys are familiar with the uh, lovely Florida here in our swamp, uh, cypress stump. So it yeah. fell right on. The head of a cypress stump it so didn't lose zero. Uh, it didn't lose zero still holding zero uh we've bounced them off of barricades yep you know um we got a scaffolding tower that we shoot off of a lot yeah we beat around on that rickety yeah. thing with them and it's uh and it's it's, it's, and it, it's been holding zero no issues so i've been really happy with it yeah. i can't i give it i get my thumbs up yeah. for sure uh, a couple things obviously i think they could change yeah. so if they come out with a gen 2 version of it I don't know if they are, but I'm sure they will. Yeah. Go ahead and put side parallax adjustment in it. Yeah. Um, for those people that want it to be a little brighter for daylight, yeah. go ahead and make it a little brighter. I mean, yeah. the technology's there. Yeah. You know, so um, it can be done. But as far as an SPR roll, if you're running the SPR DMR roll, we definitely give it two thumbs up. Uh, if you have a Trigicon Credo, give us your comments below. Let us know what your experiences are, good, bad, ugly. Let us know what we have or what you have, something that we might look into or with our own Trigicon Yeah, creators. if there's a, um, if there's an optic as far as that you, that you want to see us uh, run as a SPR role. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. I mean, we're always looking for different things to, yeah. to slap on a gun. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we can go to the typical normal things. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, there's gonna there's gonna be some things that we're just not gonna run. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you got something that you want, if you are currently running something and you've been really happy with it, we're not here to tell you what to buy. No. We've you, said that a thousand times. We're we are not just here to a tell resource. you what to buy. We are just a resource. To help we're just you make a resource. A we're just you. here to hold a conversation yes. and tell you our experience. Yes. That's all we do. That's we, it. We, we, we talk about this stuff all the time and we hold conversations and we're just sharing this conversation with you. Yep. That being said, join into the conversation. Yeah. Jump down there in the comments. Tell us what you're running. Tell us what your setup is. Yeah. What is what if you're running an SPR, hey, man, me, me and Eric love Mark Twells. We love SPRs. We're addicted. We are addicted. So head down there in the comments. Let us know what your rig is. Let us know what your scope is. Let us know what kind of mount you're running. Yep. Give full details. Yeah. You know, if you're comfortable sharing that information, because there's going to be somebody out there that is new to this game that's rolling through the comments for information. Or asks, ask a question. Or ask a and, question. You know, give them some positive information. Help them out. You know, I mean... And that's what the comment section is there. Building a for. community. Yes. We're, we're looking to build a community in our comment section. 100%. That's what we're looking to do. 100%. On IG, YouTube, wherever yep. else that you can comment. Yep. And so if you want to join the community and continue the conversation, like I said, like, subscribe, share this video. If you know somebody that would get something out of it, share the video. Also, if you want to see any behind the scenes information about upcoming episodes or what we're doing currently to, to test out new products, go check out our Instagram page. If you like listening to stuff in the car, we are, we are on Spotify now. You can go just listen to the conversation. Or if you're working out. Or if you're working out. Nice. Getting nice. Getting, getting the guns, swole. right? Getting swole. Getting swole train. It's yep. coming into town. Doing the curls for the girls. Buys for the... Anyways, all right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so... 
anyways go check out spotify we do have our conversations on there as well as if you are a rumble user we are also on rumble um but what you guys do really help us out roy and i are always saying it and we don't say it enough thanks so much for the support it's been incredible yeah. uh, it's been kind of amazing it has been amazing and if you are looking for media outlet wise goes yeah, if you if need if you're looking if you're a company out there or you know a company and you're looking for media content, content yeah media content mm-hmm. um i film uh, bear on eric, eric, eric fulfill your the, needs eric is the brains behind the imagination thanks i'm a i'm the pixar of the yeah team. he's the pixar of the group <laughs> um and and tyler is phenomenal He's a wizard. Yeah, he's a wizard. The guy is the guy's phenomenal behind a camera. Yeah. Um, sometimes we don't do him justice. Yeah, on what he can produce. But all this B-roll that you see, you, you can thank Tyler for that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, if you're a company and you're looking for that type of stuff, hit us up. We do have our email down in the description below. And you're looking for that service, just hit us up on the email. Roy, any last closing comments? No, guys, get out there and train. If you want to train with us, you know where to find us. That's it, man. Train and be safe. As always, we'll see you on the next one from Roy and Eric. Be safe.